Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be watching from. My name is Mike Upright Mukuru. I'm the creative director of Upright Cakes and Events of She. Yes, I want to just speak on something very, very, very unique. Yes, event decoration has been uh, a turning point in Nigeria for so many persons. Yes, and uh, it's a good thing that everybody is doing event decoration now in, uh, in Nigeria. Almost everybody, uh, young ones, are putting in the effort and creating new designs every day, which is something I really, really appreciate so much. But you know, sometimes it's difficult to to really know um, a place you can go to to learn event decoration in Nigeria. I'll take my location for example. And I will share those to the Nigeria, in Africa, yeah. It's very difficult for you to know who is good and who is not. Because I've discovered that many event decorators and uh, event bakers and all the that you see one person that is doing event decoration is also doing fashion designing, it's also doing cake baking, it's also doing Street productions and all of that, which is not uh, a, a very good, or I could say, I'm not saying it's bad to do all of those things, but I'm trying to say that as an event decorator, also a baker, and then um, you are also a, 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 a caterer, you cook for weddings, for parties, and all of that. It is very good that you try as much as possible to separate them. Don't pull them together. Actually, when you are on your social media, it makes it look rowdy. For instance, take for instance this platform that you are watching me from now, uh, the YouTube algorithm. It's very difficult for you to grow on social media. It's going to be in real life. It's very difficult for you to really grow. So I will encourage young ones who are just starting up this event decoration to try as much as possible, guys. Try as much as possible to, to separate the, those businesses. I'm speaking from a point of experience because this affected my growth in the event decoration industry. In fact, not just industry. As I speak to you today, I'm a baker. I'm a chef. I cook for weddings and I will have a fast food re restaurant. Yes. I also do makeup. I'm a makeup artist. I'm a photographer for crying out loud. Yes. I'm a photographer. And it's something that I later discovered that the truth is I can't be 100 percent good in all of these things. So I sit down one day and I said, I'm going to create a, a a a plan what's the plan the plan is i'm going to separate all these businesses and i'm trying to give it my best let me see which one i'm very good at and i'll pick it and i was able to pick the one that i'm doing right now which is event decoration i'm planning i also pick uh baking yes but I try as much as possible to separate all of it. All my social media, you took my, my my handles on I, uh, IG, Instagram, you'll see that I have like five accounts. And each of those accounts, there are three is for businesses. Four is for businesses, sorry. Yes. One is for my personal profile. Yes, where all my details are input. But remaining ones are businesses who have upright. Uh, takes an event is on one platform on IG even on this platform YouTube here you see upright cakes and event which is what you are watching right now then I also have upright cakes food and cakes academy that one is for training yes then I have another one upright uh, fast food and bar that one is for the food aspect, the catering aspect of it. Yes. Then I have my own, which is the one I just mentioned. My name, Mike Umukoro Upright. Yeah, that's on my personal profile. So you see, even I also have another page. 
which I am still working on, but I try to not involve myself in it, is upright baking materials. Yes, I said baking material, but I discovered that the truth is that I can't do everything as long as, in as long as I have, my hand can reach so many places, I have a big hand, my hands are wide, but the truth is I can't do all things. You see, I can't, I can't really do everything. So, in these places I just mentioned now, I, I was able to do just few ones myself, right? which is the, the baking and even decoration. The truth is that it's difficult for you to do all of them. It takes your time and effort. So, it's good to be known professionally for something on your page. Let people know that you are very good in event decoration and planning. Yes, those two can go together. Event decoration and planning. But you can say, okay, I want to do event decoration and baking. Yes, you can do that. But try as much as possible to separate these two businesses. Because they are businesses on their own. Yes, as a, ba a baker is a profession, event style is a profession as well. A caterer, a chef, is a profession. Now it's like you are taking like five persons' profession and you are doing all together at once. I put them on your page. It makes your page look rowdy. That's the point I'm trying to drive at here. I'm not saying you cannot do all, but try as much as possible to let your 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 page or your business properly plan. Because you need to plan this business, you need to plan it in a way that you have structures. And if you cannot give your business a structure, it kills that business. No matter how professional you are, it will kill your business. That is the truth, guys. It will kill your business totally. So try to create a business plan for each of those businesses, which is what I do, I did four years back. I decided to create a, a plan for upright cakes and event. I created a plan for upright fast food and bar. I created a plan for upright baking materials. I created a plan for upright cakes and events academy. Yes. I decided to leave photography. I decided to leave makeup. Because as I said earlier, when I was when I began this video, is that I was doing all of that. I was a baker, I was a photographer, a videographer, I was a, a makeup artist, even in a beat, I made beat. Yes, this is a beat beat for Nigeria. Yes, it was selling us at that time. But later, the beat industry began to, to dwindle and have to leave. Another thing too, I was not really a professional, but because I see that in my environment when I started this business in 2012, 2013 in Aushi, Edo State, Nigeria. I I don't want to do everything because that's what was everybody was doing in my own community. So I'm trying to advise all event decorators by the means of this video is that try as much as possible to separate all your businesses, even on social medias. Yes, you can have different numbers, yes, for all of these businesses I've talked about. Then give them a different profile and give them a different portfolio, give them a different a different face. Just create a face for them so that when somebody comes to your page or somebody comes to your office, you will not see that you are organized. Yes, you are talented. Yes, you you have people working for you. Yes, I'm not yes, 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 yes. But does your business have a structure? So I've been able to do this. That is why and I'm not seeing the benefits of giving my business a structure. Sorry, thank you for being the structure that everybody cannot see and appreciate. So please, guys, try, try. I'm not a business expert. I'm still learning on the go, but I just say, let me use the opportunity to 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 come and just speak on this issue. Of trying to everybody trying to do in Nigeria, especially in Nigeria, especially everybody wants to do all the business together. You see that you only you are a baker, only you are a caterer, only you are you are a makeup artist, only you are a fashion designer, only all of that. It's truly, it's it saps your energy. It saps your energy. Yes.
Yes. I remember when I was in, the first uh, profession I learned was a fashion design. I can sew, like all this clothes I'm even putting on. I saw these already made wear jeans and all of that. I even worked at one company in Nigeria called Coste at Lagos, yes, doing bus stuff. It's really, yeah, that's where that company is. I worked for them for six months, yes. What I was doing was sewing. I sew jeans and all of that for them. They already made jeans, the designer wears and all of that. So, what I'm trying to say is that this talent that I have, I try to harness them and um, separate them so that um, and leave some because the truth is that I can't do all. No matter how I love them, no matter how I want to do all of them, uh, I can't do all. That is the truth. I can't do all and be 100% good. I can't do all and be 100% good. I repeat, I can't do all and be 100%. The same goes for you. You can't be 100% good in all the professions that you are doing just try and pick a niche and work on it and social medias will help you to boost it yes because you are going for all the social media platforms like youtube twitter uh, uh, facebook and instagram these platforms we always wants to boost your video wants to push it to the people that click on fashion if you are into fashion you also click it to if you're into event decoration or event planning event management they are going to always push it to people who search or who just like your pictures or your videos yes that's how it works so by the time you are not posting today you are posting that tomorrow you are posting this tomorrow you're posting that there's no way you are going to grow on this youtube channels yeah this youtube platform there's no way you are going to grow Yes, take my word for it. There is no way you are going to grow. So until you learn to separate your businesses. If you are posting for fashion, go ahead. If you are posting for event decoration and planning, go ahead. If you are posting for cake, baking, production, bread and all of that, go ahead. But don't flood the algorithm with all of your talent. Yeah, you are good in all of them. But try to advance them into different uh, channels. You, the beauty of all the social media that is that you can place, create like five or, or four or three channels and grow them. Yes, you can. So please give me a like and please comment what you feel or what you think is best to do all of them together, put all of them in in one channel and promote all of them are you in support of that please i want to know in the comment section but if you agree with me that yes yeah, it's good you separate all of them give them a different channel and promote them accordingly i want to also see, also see your comment but please like and comment please until i see you again i remain your homeboy michael upright sumukuro please subscribe to my channel thank you bye until i see you again